Welcome to an episode of The Root Culturist. In this episode, we'll be sowing platycerum spores, otherwise known as staghorn ferns. Here we are adding a layer of perlite to give the media a good drainage. Next, we add a layer of slow-releasing fertilizer. In this case, we are using the general 14-14-14 osmocot. This is to provide nutrients to the spores at a staggered stage. Once done, we add a layer of peat moss. At this stage, we are loosening up the peat moss. and eventually we are packing them down gently. This will come in handy when we add hot water. We don't want the perlite, the osmocot, to float to the surface. There are many ways of sterilizing a container. One such way is by using hot water or by using a microwave. What you want to ensure is that there is sufficient hot water contact with the media. We try to do this at slightly over one third of the container and later you can see after we have kept it. Once done, we have to wait for the media to cool down before adding the spores. So let's get right into the sewing method. We need water, spores, and a sieve. So after the media has cooled down, we are ready to sew the spores. Putting the spores onto the sieve. And sieving it onto the media. By far, sieving seems to be the best method for getting a good germination rate because most of the impurities are removed. What you want is just a fine layer of spores. This is to prevent overcrowding. And finally, we spray a layer of water over the spores. So now it's basically the waiting game. It could take a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or even a couple of years for the gametophytes to form. So if you like our channel, follow us on YouTube at The Root Culturist and follow us on Instagram at The Root Culturist. And the most important step, as this is a lengthy process, do not forget to label the box. See you on the next episode of The Root Culturist. Bye-bye.